and let's have a look at the FTP access. Uh, so in this case we start off in the normal way. This is the server here and this is the client. So the client asks for the MAC address of the server and it responds back with its MAC address. Once it has that, then the client can communicate with the server. So port 21 is used for messaging uh, and we'll be using the, a passive FTP method where the ser FTP server will create a port uh, for the client to connect to. So we see a syn, syn ACK comes back from the server and then we get an ACK at the end of it. After that we can see port 21 being used to, to pass messages. So we'll have a look at the trace. So there's the there's the request. So we see the here Ethernet frame contains uh, hexadecimal 806, which is ARP. So it's carrying ARP. And then we see a request here. There's the there's the broadcast MAC address here on the Ethernet. It's interpreted as, as all zeros in the in the ARP request. And the reply that comes back is this one from the server. We then see a sin with the flag coming back is an ACK. So this is uh, rep responding back to 3655 on the client port 21. And then we see the ACK at the very end. So then once that has been set up, we can now look at the stream. So this is purely the stream on port 21 and not the data stream that we're looking at. It's important to remember that. So we log in here with the username and then a password. This is what comes back from the server. The syst gives us the operating system. PWD is the present working directory. And then we go into passive mode. In the passive mode, what happens is the server creates a uh, port which we connect to and then get the data stream downloaded. So in this case the port that's going to be opened up is 256 times 4, 1024 plus 22, 1046. Okay we then do a list and so on. So what we'll do is we'll go back to our stream and hopefully we can pick off when the data stream happens. So it should happen sometime after the here. Okay, so there's the list. And here we go. So the client is now connecting to port 1046. There we go. So this is what we've done. We've asked, the server has told us what port to connect to. We then do a, a list and then we create the port and we to connect to it to get the list to come back again. So there's the sin synac again. We can follow that basic stream. It's really just a connection. There we go, there's a connection being made. Okay, so here is the start of the data coming back from the server. So there's the data getting transferred there. And there's okay, so each time that we go into this passive mode, there we go. This is another port that's opened up. The client must then connect into that one. So we see the syn, synac again, and so on. So we can see that port 21 is really just used for messages and the rest of it is used for for the 
with data transfer.